You are watching Melody Lane. With me, you're gonna have a great crafting time. Well, hello there, everyone. It's Holly with Melody Lane Inspired. And today, I'm gonna give you a tutorial on a mason jar butterfly memorial ornament I made for my sister. So I found these adorable little empty mason jar ornaments at Michael's and they came in a six pack and I knew I wanted to do something with them. So I picked them up. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. Then I thought I definitely want to make a butterfly ornament in memory of my sister. And then I was like, wait a minute, butterfly mason jar. Let's make this a butterfly mason jar memorial ornament. So I went to Michael's and I picked up some of this. This is natural moss. Comes in a couple different varieties too, a darker green, a almost brown color. But then I thought, let's go ahead, put some moss in here, a butterfly, and then add some vinyl to the outside to go ahead and make this butterfly memorial ornament. So these are the items I'm gonna use here. So I'm using some Cricut holographic craft board, black cardstock, and then I'm also gonna be using two items from Cricut's Thanksgiving mystery box, which is the adhesive foil in the glossy metallic silver, and then I'm also going to be using a color from the Premium Vinyl Tropical Sampler. Not sure quite yet which color I want to use on this. I'm going to go ahead and start making it and then see. I may choose teal. I may choose purple. I may choose yellow. So let's see which one I end up with. And then one thing I forgot to include in the picture is transfer tape. Because we're going to use that to go ahead and transfer the vinyl and the foil. This was a very easy project to design in Design Space. I just went ahead and found a butterfly that I liked when I searched images and then went ahead and put my text up there. Now, I do want to bend my butterfly in the mason jar. So what I'm doing here is I'm just going to go ahead and grab some lines. I'm going to turn those into score lines. I'm going to go ahead and put two on here. That way I have one on each side of what's like the little butterfly's body there. Once I get the line size correctly, then I'm going to go ahead and duplicate it. And I'm actually going to duplicate it two more times. That way I have the score lines for the other layer of the butterfly. And then you're just going to go ahead and drag those into place. Once you get both lines, what you like on the butterfly, you can go ahead and choose both lines. Choose your butterfly and then go ahead and attach. That way it attaches the score lines to the butterfly. Now I'm going to go over to the other layer of my butterfly and I'm going to do the exact same thing. Now I'm just going to go ahead and change the color of it here just because it's much easier to see black score lines on a different color. Now, when choosing a butterfly, there are some that did not have the double layer. Say it was just like the black layer here. So here's a way you can go ahead and make that second layer if it doesn't have it. So I just went ahead and duplicated my butterfly there. I'm going to go down to contour. Oh, but first I had to go ahead and detach because I already attached my score lines to it. So I went ahead and hit detach, and then you just want to contour. Then when you choose hide all contours, it's just going to give you the back piece. That way when you go ahead and put them together, you go ahead and have that back piece for that second layer. Now that we've finished designing our project, let's go ahead and start cutting our project. Now that we've finished with our design, go ahead in the right hand upper corner there and we're going to hit make it. Then we're going to choose on mat for this because we're making it on the mat and we're going to use the 12 by 12 inch mat. Then we can go ahead and hit continue. And this is where you go ahead and choose what material are you cutting. So for this piece here, we're just going to use the medium cardstock. And you can see there it's letting me know in clamp B, I need to put my single scoring wheel in. And then go ahead and hit the load button. Now I just needed a small piece of cardstock here, so I went ahead and cut down it to a smaller size. I'm just going to smooth it down on there. And then once I get it all ready, I'm going to go ahead and pull down my door. Now once I've chose everything on the make it screen of what materials I'm doing, it's going to go ahead and the load button there that is white that you see me pushing will let me know that I am ready to load my mat. However, for this, remember we are attaching the scoring line, so we are going to need to put the scoring wheel in. I actually forgot that the first time I went to do it, but the good thing is if you forget the scoring wheel, the machine will let you know, 
hey, we haven't found the scoring wheel. So we're gonna go ahead and put the scoring wheel in clamp B, which is the same clamp that the blade goes in. Once it's finished scoring, you will see the go light is blinking again. That's letting you know, time to change the blade. So then you're gonna go ahead and switch your blade out, and then you can go ahead and hit go again, and then it's gonna start cutting the project. Now it's finished cutting that piece, so we can go ahead and unload the mat. And then I like to go ahead and bend my mat and then peel off the piece. It's just preference how you like to do it. So I'm gonna get my butterfly off there. And then right after this, I went ahead and scraped those pieces off my mat too to get those off. Now we're gonna go ahead and use the holographic Cricut craft board. So I'm just gonna go ahead and load this up just like I did the black cardstock, and we're gonna go through the same steps. Now, when I'm on the Make It page, I am gonna choose you're gonna go ahead and search and choose holographic craft board. That way it sends the settings to the machine to go ahead and cut through that. When you're cutting craft board, it will do two passes on it. This piece also has the score marks attached, so I'm just gonna go through the same process as I did last. And also we'll have you put the double scoring wheel in versus the single scoring wheel. Once it finishes scoring, then it goes ahead and begins to cut. There is our pretty holographic butterfly. I think that's gonna look great inside the ornament. Now I have both pieces of my butterfly cut, so I'm just gonna go ahead and attach those to one another. But first, I'm gonna go ahead and take my weeding tool here, and I'm just poking out the little pieces of the butterfly that aren't supposed to be there. There we go, I got all of the pieces out there. So now, remember I put those scoring marks in, so I'm just gonna go ahead and bend my butterfly. Now I'm gonna go ahead and glue the black piece onto this holographic pink part is gonna be the back of my butterfly. So I'm just gonna go ahead and flip over my butterfly here and I'm gonna use some Barely Art glue and I'm just barely putting some glue on it. I don't need much, so I'm just dabbing little dots along the way. And it does dry clear, which is a wonderful thing. As you do this, you do just wanna be careful not to put any of the glue right where the scoring marks are. That way it can still bend after you glue the pieces together. Now we're just gonna go ahead and line these up carefully and go ahead and glue those together. That amount of glue was perfect. It didn't ooze out anywhere. And look at our pretty butterfly. I love it. And then give a little bend to the wings again because now you've just glued both, both pieces together. Now let's go ahead and put our butterfly in our jar. So I'm just grabbing a little of the moss here and I'm just gonna go ahead and shove it inside of the mason jar. Not quite sure how much it needs, so I'm gonna add some, and then if I need more, I can always add more. It's gonna, I used my tool here. I just flipped over my weeding tool and used it to kind of poke the moss down. Now we can add our pretty butterfly. I am loving the way this is looking so far. So now we got the inside done. So now we're just gonna go ahead and work on the outside. For the vinyl, I'm gonna put on the back side. I'm gonna go ahead and use from the tropical sampler that was in the Thanksgiving mystery box. I am going to go ahead and use Melody's favorite color, my favorite color, teal, because we have to have teal on this somewhere. It just wouldn't be a Melody thing if there was no Before teal. Before we cut the vinyl, I did wanna point out that I am gonna be using this vinyl on the back side of the mason jar, so I actually need to go ahead and mirror that image. So I just went ahead and clicked down there, mirror. Now, as you can see, it flipped the words. 
That way, when we go to apply it, they're actually going the right way and they can stick on the back of the mason jar. So for this one, I'm going to browse the materials and I'm actually going to be using the removable premium matte vinyl. And you can see here, we no longer need that scoring tool. So it's just letting us know we just need the fine point blade in clamp B. That should still be in there from the last thing you cut. So there's no need to change anything there. Alright, now let's go ahead and weed this. So I like to go ahead and take my weeding tool and just stick it through, not through the back, but through the side. I like to lay it down to do that. That way I don't poke my finger. If you lay it on top of your finger, you could poke through. And it is sharp. So I like to just lay it down, do it this way, and then go ahead and peel it back. Now when you peel this, you want to make sure and peel it across it versus up. And you do want to pay attention to your letters as you're peeling. That way, if one of them is stuck, you can go ahead and stick it down. And then I just want to go ahead and take out the little, there's just little tiny parts in the middle of the letters. So it's going to go through and grab those out. It would be great to use your tweezers here to go ahead and grab those little pieces. I unfortunately couldn't find my tweezers at this moment. I know where they are because my cat got a tick on it. So we used it to get the tick out. And when you apply vinyl, you're always going to use this here. That is Cricut Transfer Tape. This is just the regular grip. If I was using glitter vinyl, I would want to use the strong grip. Went ahead and peeled back so I have the see-through side. And then I'm going to go ahead and smooth it down. I prefer to start on one end and go ahead and smooth it across. Recommended is to go ahead in the middle, press it down, and then smooth out towards the outsides. I've had it kind of fold over and do that so I just prefer this method but you can play around and see what method works best for you. I do like to always just push in one direction and not push back and forth and then I like to take my scraper here to go across flip it over and then go ahead and go across it that way to press it on the transfer tape well. Now space wise I don't have a ton of space where I want this to go. I actually ended up editing it afterwards and making it a little smaller but I did go ahead and slice these into different lines that way I could adjust them get them as close as I wanted to one another. So I just went ahead and cut the transfer into three sections. And then I know I'm starting at the top for this. So I'm going to go ahead and start at the very top and apply my first line. Then now she flies. And we got the first line on. So then I'm going to go ahead and take the next line, which is just the word with, and I'm going to get it as close up to there as I can. The whole point is I want to still be able to see the butterfly through this when I get the wording on the back. I'm going to go ahead and put the word butterflies on. Now I did resize this. So if I was to make this project again, I wouldn't have to cut it into these separate lines. I made the width a lot smaller so it wasn't as tall. So it fit in better and then shrunk everything down just a little bit. That way you can't apply it in one piece. I'm just going to go ahead and peel off the clear transfer tape. And then that is all finished on the back. Now it says the now she flies with butterflies. Now there's just one more thing I want to do before I finish my ornament here. I wanted to add my sister's name to the front. So I'm going to go ahead and use this adhesive metallic glossy silver foil that was also in the Cricut's Thanksgiving mystery box. This would be awesome too. If you have their signature, you could go ahead and cut the vinyl out in their signature. And that would be a great way to personalize it. So when you go to make it, you're going to go ahead and choose adhesive foil for your material. Now we're just going to go ahead and peel this again and just like the other one we peel we want to peel across it so think at a 45 degree angle and there it is and then there was a couple little pieces in there i weeded out like the center of the o and such and then i'm just taking that transfer tape and remember the transfer tape is reusable do not throw it away after you use it once because you can do several more projects with it so after it's transferred onto our tape there then i'm just going to go ahead and line it up here on the jar and press it down and then peel the tape off and there we go. I actually got really emotional as soon as I finished this. Uh, the actual recording was just me sobbing for a while because it made me think of my sister, but 
such a beautiful soul and it's a beautiful ornament and I'm so happy to hang it on my tree and always think of my sister. So thank you for watching today. I hope I helped inspire you to make something and there's lots of newbies out there just getting your machines. And to you, I say, welcome to your new obsession. <laughs> there's so much you can make with it. Just go ahead, give us the like and the subscribe. And we have videos and all sorts of projects available. We have a Patreon also where our Patreons get over a thousand projects ready to make, starting at only two bucks a month. And not only that, but one of my favorite things is our 24-7 crafting Zoom. This is where you can stay at home, craft in your home, but you get to be social and make friends and do crafty things together. We're actually having our ugly sweater party tonight for our crafting Zoom, which I'm super looking forward to. We hope all of you guys have a wonderful Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. Whatever it is that you celebrate, I hope it is filled with love and joy. We can't thank our admins, our supporters, and all of you guys enough. We're looking forward to a new year. 2022 was definitely the hardest year for us here. As you know, we lost our crafting angel, Melody Lane, but she's with us every day, inspiring us. So thank you guys. Once again, we hope you guys have the best holidays ever. Bye guys and happy crafting.